My name is Lou Lee. I am the founder of Blooming Founders. We run London's largest network of female entrepreneurs and recently have also opened a co-working space for female founders. Being a founder definitely was not part of the career path that my parents desired me to have. But I was actually quite entrepreneurial when I was a teenager. I discovered eBay when I was 15 and I started selling things that I had in my children's room. It worked out quite well. But then I went to business school and forgot all about that. Then it was until I was 28, actually, that I rediscovered my entrepreneurial side and just thought I should do it now. Now is the time. I came to London and I didn't know anybody. I was running you know, consulting business on my own, one woman show. There was not a go-to community for me to tap into and it was a very male-dominated environment. And I was kind of like missing relationships with other entrepreneurial women. So I started Blooming Founders in August 2015. So this is our monthly brag fest, which is a member's breakfast with bragging rights. And the idea is to get together and share what was going well in our businesses, in our startup journey. At Blooms, I think we want to build the bridges and connect the dots between our members. And, and almost anticipate what our members could need. And that's why it's interesting for me to like understand, okay, what, you know, what is everybody working on and, and how can we you know, help each other? So we have built quite a few relationships within Blooms now that basically sort of trading together, right? And that's, that's quite exciting. The business is very, very demanding. I had to cut down significantly on my lifestyle. Holidays, money and stability. You work every waking minute and that can isolate you from your friends and family, which makes things difficult. But then in your business life, when you do have a community to connect with, then you realize that there is a little new family, <laughs> you know, of people that you can talk to. Now we're living in a time where there are so many women looking to set up their own businesses that we need to create the infrastructure because it is, now is the time.